What's up guys, Chad Caruso here, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to frontside 5.0 on a mini ramp. Now before you start learning this trick, just make sure you can frontside slash and launch out of a quarter pipe. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you're learning frontside 5.0 grinds learn how to launch out of the quarter pipe front side. Now this will start giving you the feel for getting on top of the coping. Instead of just doing front side slashes, you'll start to really get the feel of standing up on top of the coping. So you're gonna wanna approach the ramp at a 45 degree angle. If you approach the coping too straight, you're not gonna go anywhere. So you gotta make sure you're at a big angle. So after you come up with a 45 degree angle, pretty much gonna finish the kick turn as you're applying that fly out method. So right before you get to the coping, you're gonna just lift your front truck and then apply that fly out method to where you just lock in on this wheel. You don't wanna lock in like this and be pressed like that. It's just not a great technique and it won't make for long grinds. It's just way more consistent when you have it like this. Now if you could do this trick on a ledge, it's a little bit different than that because you're not grinding like perfectly straight like a manual or something you're kind of turned at a 45 degree angle while you're grinding and you're leaning into the ramp and just from coming in from the ramp and then you're going back in just the way you sit on it makes for a long grind and a very comfortable grind and if you feel like you're gonna slip out just keep trying that fly out method, just getting closer and closer to the coping until you feel comfortable. And the good thing about front 5.0 is that it's really easy to kick it out if you don't feel comfortable. So you can just keep trying until you feel you're ready to come back into the ramp. So when you come back in, you're just gonna wanna give a little bit of a hop to make sure your wheel gets off of the coping. This might seem scary at first, but once you start going for it, it just feels so natural. It's probably one of the funnest tricks to do on a mini ramp. And then once you feel comfortable enough to come back in, just lean forward and roll away. Then once you get that trick down, you can try to learn some variations. All right, guys, I hope today's trick tip was helpful. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to ask in the comments below. If you have any trick requests, leave those down there too. I'd be happy to do them. All right, thanks for watching.